What's up, everybody? Today we're playing a Demir removal, and I know what you're thinking. Where's the Demir beast? Well, we do have a few. Um, it's basically just splashed. Um, we have the four Jaces and two Witness the Futures. Uh, we just want to be able to reuse our. It's all, but basically all removal. We want to just remove, remove, remove until our opponent's like, nah, I don't want to play this no more. Um, we have stuff like the Restless Reef to recover from board wipes and whatnot. Uh, we do have Sheldred. We do have Phyrexian Obliterator uh, and graveyard trespasser technically these are all removal because death touch sacrifice and removal from the graveyard i mean i guess you know um also it's removal from the hand if they want to target it so that's good too um but with these three creatures and jace the perfected mind uh we're really not like our whole goal is not to mill our opponent like that's not our main goal it's here because that is a win condition um, we're also here to like just attack them, make them die from Sheldred, make them give up because the Phyrexian Obliterator is hard to deal with, especially when you're going against Mono Red. Um, and then we want to witness the future so they give up and say like, oh man, he's going to get all that stuff back. I don't want that. Uh, we have one Breach the Multiverse, just because, why not, you know? Well, um, we might go long in these games, so we, we, we'll probably get to seven mana to play it. Um, we have four Demolition Fields for those Man Lands, uh... Uh, man lands and Mirexes and all that kind of stuff. And I know what you're thinking. Why not Field of Ruin? Um, it's because I only have three uncommons left. I don't want to get two more Field of Ruins and uh, Demolition Field for what I want to use it for is the exact same thing. But you can very much put Field of Ruin in here. I know it's better for certain uh, certain things where like uh, somebody will like scry to the top and then, oh, Field of Ruin will make them get rid of it. You know, uh, Demolition Field. You know, you don't have to search for a land. Although if they do that, they lose a land. So there's that as well. So uh, that could be important. But um, honestly, like, it doesn't matter. That we're just have it in there for the man land, so it doesn't matter. Um, we have the deadly cover up because sometimes you just need to get a, get a whole board wipe, and we didn't want to play in white. Uh, I think I've been playing too much mono mono white and black white that I think like all my decks are about to be the same, you know. But um, with this, you know, it's, it's still removal, it's still mass removal in black, and we have um, stuff like uh, extract the truth as well for enchantments that that helps. Um, or we could just get stuff out of their hand, a little bit of little tiny bit of discard, not a whole lot um bitter triumph because this is just one of the better removals sometimes we, we just don't really care about losing three life plus we have march of wretched sorrows we have uh sheldred gaining back our life graveyard trespasser gaining back our life so we don't care about losing that three life nine times out of ten actually probably nine times out of ten yeah we, we ten times out of ten will be um not the card we'll be uh paying the three life mostly um unless we're just really low on life um, and then we have one Restless Reef because that's, yeah, I, I think I mentioned this, but, you know, just to get back in the game from remo uh, from mass removal, board wipes. Also, to help mill our opponent with the Jace. That with Jason. Uh, dude, Jason, I still think Jason is probably the best card, man. But any, anywho, um, that's basically what we, oh, we have cutdowns as well. And I know I always say that I hate cutdowns. Cutdown's a really bad card. Uh, but it's really, really good if you're going against, like, Mono Red. So um, we have two in here, but nine times out of ten, somebody's going to say, oh, well, I might as well use it on this creature because I'm never going to have another chance to use it. And that's and I think for me personally, and this is just my opinion, it makes it a bad card. Um, I'm not saying it doesn't have his applications, but uh, cut down for me, I just rather have, usually would rather have better um, uh, removal in that place. But since we're playing like all the removals anyways, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Um, not to mention, like, we're, we're pretty slow to get going, so getting rid of, like, mono red creatures like, uh, uh, Monastery Swift Spear and Phoenix Chicks, uh, pretty good, pretty good in this deck. Mar March of Retro Sour and Cut Down really will do work. So, let's get into the games and see how the deck does. We have got Jace, Sheldra's Edict, we got an Obliterator, we got all the black mana we could ever need. We're taking it. Even if we are going up against mono red, I mean, it could be pretty bad. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's, I mean, like, no matter what you do, like, no matter what deck you play, you're going to be going against something different. You know, like, you can't, like, you'll never, like, if you get too much mono red, you start playing life gain, you're going to, you're never going to see mono red. And that's the issue, to be honest. Um, like, it's not like real life, you know, you, you couldn't, like, take a deck, like, in this game into real life and have it be the same. Also, we have all removal and we're playing no creatures, so. <laughs> Oh man, that's great. I love it. See what I'm saying? I could play any deck. I, I don't see this all day. I see all creatures, all all Boros, all Boros Convoke. But as soon as you start playing removal, boom, done. You're not playing, you're not seeing Boros uh, Convoke anymore. Just not happening. Go ahead and play your thing that draws you cards, dude. Go ahead. Yep, there it is. The deuce. 
People are playing um Jins again, and it's still bad. It's still a bad deck. They're playing blue white Jins now. Is a token? No. Not a token. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Let's draw a card. There's something. That's something to think about. Okay. Get lost, sure. That's two to return it to your hand. Nice. Um... Can't return it to your hand now. They're gonna kill it. Get lost. Sure, yeah, use all your removal, dude. I'm okay with that. And then I can just power something up. Play the Reef and then Phyrexian Obliterator. They're gonna counter this one. Because they don't, they use all the removal. No. They're looking for it. Or they already had it in their hand. They just want me to think they found it. Old tactic. Yep. Maybe it should have been the Sheldred. No. That would have just killed the Sheldred. Um, let's go... Let's see this. Uh-oh. What do you got? Um, okay. That just gives me more to choose from. Well, I guess they wanted to use it. So they get more options here. But they probably have what it takes. Yeah. No more lives. Auto pay, sure. Right. That doesn't matter. Awesome. Attack. We got in. Yay. Here comes Sunfall, though. But if they use Sunfall, they... Yeah, alright. So I think it has to be Sheldred. We can get all our cards back from our graveyard. Alright, really can't do much else. Let's enter the battlefield this turn. So making it a thing now is not worth it. Especially if you're tapping out. Okay. Um... Let's go. Let's use them all. Why not? All lands. All lands all the time. You got it. Uh, but we have the demolition field now. So there is that. Here comes removal. Sheldred the apocalypse. Doing a little bit of work at least. I might find another get lost.
Let's attack, why not? Kill that while it's while they're tapped out. I could have done Restless Reef because they were they were tapped too low. All right, what do you got? Resolve, sure. This is where you block, friend. That's what I'm that's what I'm you know deducing here. <laughs> Get it? The dose? Eh. He's mad because he played wrong. He's tapped out. He can't do anything. He's gonna lose his one one. He wants to bring this cryptic coat back to his hand, but uh, I don't think he's got time to do that. He wants to play one of these. He's got to do it either on his turn or do, do nothing on his turn and do it on the end of my turn. He can't do it now because he's tapped out. Um, Let's see. Let's go memory deluge. And let's go witness the future. Boom. 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 And boom. What are we going to do? What do we got? Uh, I want to say bitter triumph. Yeah. Lose two. Memory to lose. Sure. Four mana, if it's Wandering Emperor, and they exile the Sheldred, I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah. Okay. We were right. I am the Emperor of Kamigawa, and I will protect my people. Okay. This what else? What you get for hurting my people. Um, let's go... Let's see what you got. Planeswalkers. Nothing. Okay. We do this. For the sake of Phyrexia, I will we can improve upon your ideas. Um bitter triumph on pay three life. Our swords will cross at the and then, I guess, Memory Deluge, one of the three. We can make it so they only use one. See Chrome Coast, all right. Okay. We're in a territory where we have enough mana to do a lot of things, so. Don't play, don't do the Restless Reef. You're doing the Restless Reef right now when they have two Demolition Fields on uh, on the field. Uh, pretty bad, so don't do it. Um... Okay. Let's go. Here's the thing. They're going to want to use the memory deluge that I try to take, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. But they're going to have to tap out right now. 
to use it. Oh. Okay. We'll put that on top, sure. What does this do? Counter target spell. Let's go boom, boom, and boom. They'll counter it, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh, you're in trouble. There we go. We are back in business now. Mm-hmm. Gonna draw a card? Sure. Yeah, I'm 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 milling you, dude. I'm like Millie Vanilli. I'm Millie Bobby Brown right now. Demir removal, baby. It's the only blue is Jason Witness. Surveil one. Do you would you like to surveil to the graveyard? You would! Nice. Okay. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. Let's go like that. Let's Restless Reef while they're tapped. Let's mill them a little more. Um, let's witness while they are tapped out. Boom, boom, and boom. There we go. And I think... They have any creatures in here at all? Nothing. I do though, right? No, no, I don't have anything. Um. Well, if they want to kill it, they're gonna have to discard a card, which I'm okay with. So we minus two on him if he doesn't kill this, and then we Jace and we win. We could just Jace and win, but. If they have a counter spell, we can't do that. All right. What you got going on? You got four. Oh, it's uh, White Sun's Twilight, 100%. <laughs> I forgot. It can't be that easy, right? White Sun's Twilight coming in. Gonna slow roll me. <laughs> Dude, with the slow rolls. Come on. Sunfall, sure. Yeah. Okay. Investigate twice, and you can't use those. That's fine. All right. Um. Oh, are they tapped? They're tapped out, right? Demolition field. Yeah, sure. Um, hmm. Good game. What do we do? <gasps> no. There's no way. They have something for... No, they can't. They have no color. Um, let's see. Right? Nine? Do 12? Just in case something happens where they can get cards on the back to the top of their deck or something. I don't know if they can. Uh, just call me a warrior, you know? Sure. Um, we could just wait here and let them concede. There you go. 
Bitter Triumph. Yeah, we go first, too. Not bad. No blue, though, just in case, but we'll, we'll get a blue. We will get a blue. Alright. Tenacious Underdog. Just kill it. Kill everything. That's what this deck is about. Alright. We got stuff. Sure. Those who get in my way tend to regret it. Resolve. Um, I guess Bitter Triumph. You won't be outsmarting me. Kill a planeswalker. Now they're going to want to kill this, which means they're not going to be able to play much. And they lose life doing it, too. Nice. Ah, uh, sure. We'll do this. And now you don't have value for later. Here comes my Sheldred. <laughs> Uh, there you go. Land, thank you. Um, Sheldred, um, let's go for all of it. We have a deadly cover up, we have a bitter triumph. I think we need bitter triumph. I think that's the best pet here. I mean. I think that is what we call the best bet. Two cards left, three cards left. You can play one and kill this. Okay. Sheldred back. Okay. This, uh, this is a 3 2. And then we can, next to combat, boom, uh, get rid of the Harvester. Okay. Moon Sage coming out? Is that, this is pretty much all you can do, right? Of course. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll match you your Phyrexian, Phyrexian Obliterator for my Obliterator. There you go. Obliterator for Obliterator. Of course, they got removal now, right? Yep, of course. Why wouldn't they? Because I couldn't find it. Sure. Okay. That's fine. Kill that. Um, hmm. Get the obliterator out of my deck, out of my graveyard. Okay, they have their obliterator, still. I think we let him hit me. Um, no. No, we don't. Bitter Triumph. There you go. This is how we do. Look at that. Good game. Uh, your Obliterator is gone. And you're dead. 
Very good. You go first. Sure. I will take going first over anything else in the world. Over losing. <laughs> it's either you go first or you're losing. Alright. Green. Sally's lore keeper? Sure. Yeah, let's do this. Why not? Um, let's see. Hmm. That gets the immediate, like, can exile my graveyard and stuff. Okay. I think we just bitter triumph the, uh, that, the oh, they can't do it. Kill it. Kill their ramp. Okie dokie. Let's see it. This is Dinosaur's worst nightmare. I'll take 10. That's fine. Misclick, 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 misclick. Ah, dick. He might not attack with them, but he might. Uh, let's go like that. Really all we can do. Okay, it has haste, but it doesn't have. They don't have seven lands. Sure. Um, I think we do that. Get rid of that out of the graveyard. And then we have the bitter triumph if we need it. Okay. They're going to gain life and exile my graveyard. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason not to. Sure. And then let's do this. <laughs> make him discard or make him uh, mill. We'll be right back. What did we draw? Oh man, we're back. Okay, um... Next to combat. Next to attackers. No attackers. Alright. So. We can protect this Jace. Alright, dinosaur, sure. Pass to attackers. Are we attacking? They gotta. Can they attack through? No, they don't. Go ahead and mill them three more cards. I know where to find all the answers. Alright. 
next. Don't do anything. You really can't. We have deadly cover up now. I mean, that's a thing. Only use it when we need to. We don't need it yet. Mm-hmm. It's still on. Whenever it attacks, another target attacking creature. Pay three life. Kill it. This is where you give up. Oh, man. Uh, let's go three and let's kill this. And let's wait. Land, nice. He's gonna attack all because he's desperate now. Nope. Um, is there anything here? I guess I could have used that. Um, no, there's really no no real reason to use it. Cut down's coming in handy. There we go. We can still block with the Restless Reef, too. There you go. Gaining that life, baby. All right. Waiting it out. Ah, poor soul. Cut down, bitter triumph, extract the truth. Yeah, we'll take it. Um, fewer. Now we can do this. It's more. All right, we're good. What you got? What you got? Ooh. Yeah, why not? What does he got here? He got nothing. All right. Make that a negative one so you'll never gain life with it. This still works. I'm just reading it to make sure it worked on with Denik. Well, I guess Denik won't be on the field when it happens. Okay. <clears throat> what? That's crazy, dude. I only have three in the graveyard. Um, but I can kill two things. It's fine. Okay. That works. Oops. Probably should have killed. Oh, I, cause I thought he was going to do it on this one. All 
All right, let's draw a card. That works for me. I mean, you know, we can Sheldred. We can go for the throat, the restless anchorage. Maybe that's what we want to do. Okay. Using more stuff, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do that. Fine. Draw three cards. No secret escapes my grasp. And we will Sheldra's Edict. Uh, that was I think that was the that was the play. Let's kill that. Goes back there. He gets to bring it back, but it comes back tapped. And then um that's coming out. I will clear your mind. And then we can do this little number. And now he can't wrestle his anchorage. Nice. Okay. Hmm. What you got? Kill it. If it dies, there's a land. I mean, come on. Take action. We got swamp. Hmm. Let's see. Jace. Um, what else do we want? Go for the throw. Go for the throw. Shelter's Edict. Sure. Become subdued. With one card in his hand, I think we want to sacrifice the enchantment. Because that's probably like a land or something. Uh oh. Come on, bruv. What are we doing? He's mad. He's just taking everything I've ever loved. Did I not take a witness? Oh, okay, no, there was only one witness of future I had so far. I was going to say, if I didn't take a witness of future, that is a, a, a rare, the rare misplay. <laughs> I know people say I misplay all the time, but those people don't tell me what I could have done right. <laughs> so is it really a misplay? Oh. I love that. People will only comment on my misplays, but they'll never comment on the like, winning games and like good plays. <laughs> They're just like, like you misplayed here. I mean, like I don't care. Like I really don't care. Like what? Like you telling me like a week after I've recorded the video, like what's that going to do for me? I can't go back in time. Who cares? Instead, why don't you do this? Why don't you comment on the video and say something nice about the video? There you go. That's a good habit to get into. Instead of being uh, super negative all the time. You know. 
there, there are there are people in my comments who will just like every single time there's a misplay they will like point it out it's like dude i know i misplayed i know <laughs> but sometimes there's just nothing else you can do one dude's like you just attacked with an 11 like, bro i won that match i don't care like misplays misplays whatever like it doesn't matter <laughs> He he starts with like I didn't watch everything. Like then then why are you commenting if you didn't watch everything? You sound stupid if you if you say something about the game and you didn't see it all. Like you run the risk of looking dumb. And the thing is like if I won the game, who cares? Misplays don't exist if you win. Like I I, I just don't care if I misplay. Misplaying is like everybody does it. If you, if you can criticize somebody for misplaying, then you should not never have misplayed yourself. And I know you do. Everybody misplays. One hundred percent. If the best of the best misplay, just n name me one person who never misplays. I'll, I'll, I'll name you a fraud <laughs> because every single person misplays. So if you want to criticize me for misplaying, go right ahead, but you look dumb. Now, if you just want to tell me that I did something wrong and that I should have done this, that's fine. That's fine. I'm talking about like the people who are like, you're so stupid and you're dumb because you did this and you did, you know, it's like, th those are the people I'm like, I'm really talking about. If you're just telling me about a misplay, that that's fine. That's like, you know, like, oh, maybe you didn't see this, but you should have done this, you know, and, and that's good for later on, you know, but criticizing me and calling me names in the comments, that is just not helpful. So just keep that in mind. This guy's dead. That is the deck. I want to thank everybody for hanging out and just uh, watching the video. Um, sorry about my rant in there. <laughs> I know, sometimes, like, when we have a guy, when we have someone who is just roping me, um, I gotta rant about something, you know, and, uh, but I do, I really do love all of your comments and stuff, so, like, keep them coming, you know, keep doing what you're doing, you know, just don't worry about me. <laughs> sometimes I just gotta vent, but, uh, yeah, I, I had a good time with this deck, I think it's really good, it's mono black doing mono black things, uh, removal is always good, unless you go against blue white control, and then it's like, bah, you know, <laughs> Uh, but Jace, uh, I think if you have blue in your deck and you put Jace in there, you're always going to have a good time because Jace is like that win condition where it's like out of nowhere. Like I, I have, I've have had games where like it goes like 20 minutes and I've like, oh man, he's down to one, you know? And it's like 20 minutes in and he's like, oh, I have Jace. Now you're just dead. It's like, you know, it's a win condition. It's, it's a, I, I would say it's a pretty cheap win condition, but this is Magic the Gathering. If you're not winning cheaply, then how are you winning? You know, <laughs> that's the whole game now. Uh, so thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed uh, let me know what other decks you want to see me play with and what other cards you want to see me brew around in the comments below. Deck list is going to be in the description as always. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Peace out and have a wonderful day.